In this video, you'll learn how to customize the navigation bar on your Beehive website. The navigation bar is a clickable menu that is found at the top of your website, and this menu helps visitors navigate to other pages on the site. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go to Design and Website Builder, and then click on Layout in the top left of your screen. From here, click on Global Navigation Layout, and here you can see the custom pages you've previously created and something called navigation menu groups. Navigation menu groups are how pages are grouped in your navigation bar. For example, if you click on add menu item, you can create a new menu group. And now you can add different pages to this menu group. To add different pages to this group, simply click on the three dots next to a page you've previously created and click move to. And now select the navigation group you want to move it to. You can also click on the three dots next to any page and click move to and new menu to create a new menu group. Once you add a page to a menu group, it'll now appear underneath this menu item name on your Beehive website. Please note that if only one page is in a menu item, like we have in this case, it will be displayed as a single link in the navigation bar and not as a dropdown. However, if we add another page to this menu group, you'll now see a dropdown in the nav bar. In addition to creating your own menu groups, you can also add the default categories menu item, which will show a dropdown of your content tags. If you don't know what content tags are, they're basically a way you can assign tags to posts so that you can categorize them for readers. You can do this by creating a content tag in the post tab And assigning it to a post in the post editor. In the categories group, you can select or unselect specific content tags by simply clicking on them. Once you're done setting up your menu groups, you'll need to hit the publish homepage button in the top right corner of your screen and view the live version of your website to interact with the navbar. A quick tip is you can view the live version of your website by clicking on the publications logo next to the website URL in the website builder. In your navbar, you have the option to link to both internal and external pages. So far, we've only linked to internal pages or pages that we've created using Beehive. If you wanna to link to another website, you can also add something called external pages or external links. To link to an external website, click on add page under draft pages and click on external link. From here, you can enter the page name and link and you can also add it directly to any menu group. The last thing we'll cover is how to add pages directly to your navbar while you're creating or editing a custom page. When you're creating a custom page in the custom pages section of Beehive, you'll see an option to add an internal or external page. If you were to select external, you'll see the same options as we previously covered. But if you click on internal page or edit an existing page or draft, you'll see an entirely new set of options. In the custom page editor, simply click on the drop-down menu under add to website and click on a nav bar group you wanna add the page to. That's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed. If you like videos like this, you might enjoy the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.